This has filled this gap um, where the Biennale should be, a curiosity gap at any rate, as far as the public goes. So people come along because they're dying to see a whole lot of art en masse that talks to their situation in life. Santon is safe um, and of course there's also the sensationalist element of how much does art cost. Primarily because many people know the actual artists and we all want to know how much money they're really making because they always look so miserable. This year is our most international art fair. So when we started the F&B Joburg Art Fair now five years ago, the, the big intention was to create an international art fair based in Africa and at the same time an international art fair looking at contemporary African art. And we, we're slowly starting to achieve that. Um, so for example, this year we, we have three galleries from, from France that have an interest in African contemporary art. So it's really becoming a very international fair for us, which is great. Well, I've always wanted to, be, uh, to come here in, uh, in South Africa. Uh, this is the only art fair uh, in the black Africa continent and I'm happy to uh, be part of it. Uh, it's a leading exhibition um, and beyond an art fair I think it's a leading uh, art event. This is Arcadia, the, um, the major work um, in panels in its entirety by Cape Town based artist Deborah Poynton. The point of view is of the artist's point of view from within some sort of monumental structure looking out and the thing that she's noted um, was that a lot of it is fictitious and um, these are elements that none of this really exists um, this is all a massive uh, fabrication. Why has Gallery AOP made so much dust? Um, well, I thought you were going to ask me why I'm sweeping. Um, we have this wonderful installation which is a, um, a sculpture and it's a self-sustained garden. So it's a complete ecosystem that's contained in here. But it was a bit messy to install. Tom Bella is, is doing an intervention um, which, which includes some interest with the art fair fringe. Now, and now everybody's found that very interesting because one assumes that the art fair fringe and the art fair are like are like opposing teams. But of course, only in Joburg uh, can opposing teams come together. And the concept behind this is to look at how the notions of trade and valuing, looking at the different spaces who the art fair is marketing and targeting and looking at what the fringe is trying to do in a different kind of space. Um, so the two artists have come up with a, uh, what they call it. It's a game, it's an intervention. So they are essentially analysts, going around and looking at works for the French that are art, art fair worthy. So analyzing these and describing them to the artists, and the artists are doing interpretations, and those are the interpretations that you see from yesterday's intervention. Kind of, you know, Honestly, economical You, you should be the next Minister of Culture, okay? <laughs> bottom line, bottom line. For me the most important thing is to make art accessible and contemporary art accessible. So, um, so what you wanted to do is to have one quality of contemporary African artwork and to an audience that's starting to engage and find that interesting. And I think it's starting to happen. I mean when we started the art fair people didn't buy art books and now you know art books sell. Um, there's becoming a lot more art literacy than there was. When we started the art fair, at most the audience knew maybe William Kentridge's name and no artist after that, but now people even can pronounce Kudzi Chirai. And that's kind of new, you know, and so, you know, people, these things are changing. Well, maybe this is like, um, uh, like, like, like one, one small metaphor for the entire art fair. Um, all of these people have actually brought all of this on themselves. Um, so maybe William Kentridge made that as some kind of terrible joke. Um, against against this entire operation. Yeah, it's just a miniature of Ed himself, yes. put himself on the wall. So it's uh, on the first layer. It's just the artist, you know, literally hanging himself as an artwork. Uh, it's very well executed. It's brilliantly done. Took about two months to make. Ed was there all the way. It's his real hair, you know, um, everywhere. He enlarged some parts of his anatomy. I know for a fact. Uh, which um, I'm not happy about, so it's not fully real. Well, I'm not going to ask you how you know, but thank you very much. 